Hey guys, today's video is about the flood of 2018. We've not seen a flood this bad since 1997. And I'm going to get footage of it, but it's not going to be as much as I... Well, it could be more, but I'm trying to stay away from the places that are seriously hard hit where people are still trying to get their belongings out. My heart is, goes out to them and I won't do that. But we're going to show you some. Alright guys. 2000, the flood of 2018. Now yesterday we was down here and we was able to walk over where the bridge is still. Just overnight it rose up this far right here. And I'm at the edge of the water right now. Like I said, we've not seen a flood like this since 1997. It's over the bridge. Well, it's actually on the part you drive on the bridge, so, yeah. Unbelievable. And right down there, straight down there, is the Ohio River. Right down there. Alright, let's go get some more. You can't tell it, but there's actually roads up through there in the town. All underwater, guys. A few minutes ago, I seen a guy in hip boobs walking through here. I'm going to try to walk up a little further here. Here's a pretty good shot. I found a dry spot. We'll slowly do a pan. Where you see rowboats, used to be cars driving. I wish I could get out further and show that street, but there's no way I can do it. Mm -mm -mm. You see the Aurora's Lion Club? The flood in 1997, the older building that used to be there caught on fire. That's a brand new building since then, yeah. Fires always follow floods. Don't know why or how, but they do. Water gets any higher, they're going to probably start floating. Unbelievable. There's a rowboat. <laughs> Look at the rowboats over there. You can see the barge in the distance. That's the river. I'm from a different island right now. The water's still coming up too. Unbelievable. Yeah, you guys can't see this, but way down in the river we see something very big and shiny going down. I noticed more still fire departments here. That's from a different township. All the way up as far as I can see, fire trucks and police cars. They're trying to pump the water out of some buildings, trying to save some of them. Let's see if we get a little closer. The only dry spot in the road, right there. The water's here and yeah, the only dry spot in the road right there. Unbelievable. Looks like the guy's trying to get out a railroad tie that's floated up there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You can see the rowboats down there too. All oh, those roads, guys. That's our town down there. Oh my gosh. You can tell the sandbags is holding back some of the water over there, but not much. And the water is right up to the edge of here. Fire trucks all over the place down here. Everywhere I look, fire trucks, police cars. Massive devastation here, folks. It's just unbelievable. I've never, well, there's only one time I've seen it this worse, but actually, this particular flood is worse than the one in 97. Because we had torrential downpours for the last many days, especially last night. On top of the flooding, we also had uh, flash flooding. It's dry where I'm standing right now. We're at the other side of the town. More fire trucks up this way as well. Let's go up around that corner. More places of business underwater. Last night, we was watching them evacuate and all the stuff that could get out before the water rose up. 
This water came up here fast. Just yesterday, he was basically standing right down there at the edge of that building. It's just reaching out. Now it's all the way up here. And it's still rising. More people on canoes. It's the only way of getting around in my town right now. Here's another shot of what we was just kind of looking at. And there's somebody over there in the rowboat right now. Like a zoom in on it. Fishing. Now back the other day, we seen them clearing out the gas station there. They took the pumps and everything out. Unbelievable. Some poor buildings over there. But you know what though? These buildings down here have seen the flood happen many times. I mean, these buildings, most of them was built in the late 1800s. They've been under flood waters numerous of times. And this doesn't even compare to 1937 flood. Now, 1997 was a little worse than this, only just a teeny bit. But this is the second worst I've ever seen it. More back alleys and more people's home. On down that way, all flooded out. Can't get to it. But it goes on for three to four blocks. Just can't get to it right now. Dearborn County Water Rescue. They're on standby to help people get out of their homes. Sun's out today, which is weird because the last couple of days been nothing but rain. Sun does feel good though. All right, let's get some more. Unbelievable. Like I said before, this building right here has been under the flood I know of twice. Walk down the water's edge is right here. Something else that floods bring in is debris. All the nastiness out of the water. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And that river's a flowing too. Wow. Now the reason the water's not this high on this road because this goes up a hill. There's more debris floating in the water there. I can pursue that way. Mm -mm -mm. Now, I love to be able to get some footage down around that corner, but there's no way of getting to it. It's all underwater. Every way, every place, well, any way I will go to get to it, I can't. It's all underwater. Now, some of my town goes up a hill, as you can see. And I'm gonna pan over. Flood waters won't reach here that easy. So we're gonna walk up here and walk down, see if we can get some more footage. A lot of the people that had to evacuate here has to sleep in a gym now, a high school gym. So I'll be honest, I feel guilty for videotaping the flood right now. Because so many people lost so much in this stuff. I feel bad for that. But I'm doing this so I can bring it to you guys to see Something I could keep in my own record book, something we can look back on from years to come. And note that this day, February 25th, 2018, we had a very bad flood. Just like in March of 1997. So now my son won't have school tomorrow because they closed the schools. There's no way to really get him to school. The, bir the bridge is washed out. Now, just a few minutes ago, I had some perfect video opportunity, but I won't do it. There's still people trying to get their belongings out of their place. I won't videotape that. That's wrong. But right now, let me show you. I'm up on the hill. I don't know if you guys can tell, but that's why I ain't, that's why I'm not into floodwaters. So I'm right up here on the hill. And that right there is my town. Not sure how much footage I'll be able to get, guys. So this might conclude it for today. I don't want to get too much more because there's still people trying to get their belongings out. Wow. All right, we're gonna head back to the truck. A little bit more of this footage. I know I got it earlier, but I'm at a different angle now. We got all the fire trucks down here trying to pump people's basements out and everything else. And right there's the drone, guys. Right up there. 
I would love to have a drone. That drone right there is getting some of the most beautiful, awesomest pictures there is. Right there. Alright guys, don't turn me off yet. I, I don't know what I'm thinking. I still haven't got the worst part of it yet. We're going to head over close to my home where the flooding is happening there too. And we're going to get the football field. To me, that's the worst. I mean, it's bad, it, you know, the buildings and stuff, but this is unbelievable. I don't know why the heck I forgot about that. I'll be back. As you guys can see, we have fire trucks from all different townships here. Wow. Please drive safe and carefully. We heard our children. Well, I don't think there's any driving. Guys, this is the part of the flooding that's close to me. I'm gonna get lots of footage of this, so this is just a little bit I'm getting now. If you guys can remember through the summer months, this is one of the places I walk. It's completely underwater. Let's go down to the edge of the road and Let's get some more of this. All the way down there. And up right up, up in that area is where I live. This is all underwater. It's going to take them a long time to fix and compare, you know, compare or repair, I mean, all the damage the floods did. Anybody want to play in basketball? The score is flood one and everything else nothing. Mm -mm -mm. Down zero. Now this water right here is not exactly from the river. It's from the creek. Way, way over there. Which feeds into the river. Or should I say the river, the river, if I can learn to speak, feeds into the creek. And yeah. That's what this is from right here. And my truck is way over there. Let's go on that side. The damage of this is unbelievable. Yeah, my truck's way over there. I haven't made it over there yet. And we even have kayakers here <laughs> just having a good old time. They're out there taking pictures. Just like the uh, the drone, they're getting some of the best pictures. All right, we're gonna walk over that side to where my truck is and get footage from that end. You have the onlookers out in the hundreds because this is news to us. You know, we've only seen this happen one other time. We see flooding a lot, but not to this extent. Only one other time we've seen it this bad. As you can see, walking through this side of it right now. This is where I walk at, one of the places I walk in the summertime right here, guys. Yeah. Don't look like I be don't doesn't look like I'd be doing any walking here for a while. On the other side of the street, it's all flooded out too. Yeah, all the way down to where the bridge is. That's all flooded out down through that way. All of it is. I thought that was oh, oh, Overlook the noise behind me. I'm here with onlookers. Unbelievable, isn't it? Now this is what I think is just completely massive. I mean, the town's bad, yes, that's horrible, but wow. This blows my mind here. Please overlook the car alarm behind me. It's been going on now for about, well, just stopped. It's been going on for about two minutes. Wow, unbelievable. And now we're gonna go over to the stairway and get some more footage. Maybe there's onlookers over there. And then I'll be closing this video down, guys. Yeah. This right here is unbelievable. The water is so deep in there. So deep. Wow. And right over on the other side is where we was at. It's unbelievable. The flood of 2018, guys. What I'm gonna take away from this is, besides the flood waters, 
the torrential, the torrential downpours and the potholes. Yeah, that's something I will remember. The trillions of potholes that formed. I mean, they've been there for a long time, but oh my gosh, within the last couple of days, it came out of nowhere. But guys, the flood of 2018. I pray for those that it hit the worst. Until next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Come on. Let's get out of here.